Hello and welcome to this video on balancing chemical equations. I'm going to go through three equations starting with this one. I'll just remind you in a second of the rules for balancing chemical equations and give you a, a, a suggestion of how to go about doing it and then I'll remind you that each time that you can pause the video if you want to have a go at it yourself and then see my solution. Here we have calcium hydroxide and alkali reacting with hydrochloric acid to produce calcium chloride and water. It's a neutralization reaction. Now, the, the small numbers refer to just the, the element in front of them, or if there's brackets, both the things in front of them. So this means we've got one calcium ion. It's actually Ca2+, plus, but I'm not going to bother putting in the, the charges, and two hydroxide ions, and that means two oxygen atoms and two hydrogen. And here we've got just a hydrogen and a chloride in the hydrochloric acid. Here we've got one calcium, the two just refers to the, the chloride ions, so there's two of those, and here two hydrogens and an oxygen. Now this isn't currently balanced, as you can probably see now that it's written out like that. Uh, the only way to balance it is to add big numbers in front of the formulae, and those big numbers affect all the atoms in the formula. So pause now if you want to try this. Okay, so the first thing to notice is that the calciums are, are balanced, they're okay, but I've got two chlorides here and only one here. Now if I put a, a big two in front of my HCl, that means two hydrogens and two chlorides. Chlorides are now balanced, but I've got two hydrogens there as well, so that makes four, only two here. Now if I put a two in front of my water, that means two times two hydrogens, because it's two water molecules and each one's got two hydrogens. Uh, but it also means two oxygens, and that's good news because uh, I've got two oxygens over here, so that's now balanced. Moving on to this one, slightly harder one. This is a combustion reaction now, uh, ethanol, C2H5OH, reacting with oxygen. So pause this now if you want to try it yourself. I'm going to go through the same process now of um, drawing out the, the number of atoms I've got. So there's two carbons, five hydrogens an oxygen and another hydrogen. It's, it's written like this because this hydrogen is attached to the oxygen instead of to, to the carbons. Just two oxygens in that oxygen molecule, a carbon and two oxygens from the carbon dioxide, and two hydrogens and an oxygen over here. Okay, so my carbons I'll start with, um, they're not balanced, so if I put a two here that's two carbons and two more oxygens from my two CO2 molecules. Now, I've now got four, five oxygens on this side and only three on this side. Now, because my carbons are already balanced, I don't want to go putting any big numbers here. So I need to get some more oxygens over here. Um, I've also got to balance my hydrogens, though. So maybe I'll do that first. That looks might, might be simpler. I've got six hydrogens here and only two here. So a three there means that I've now got three times as many. So three times two is six. And I've also got three times as many oxygens. That gives me a total of seven. Now, to get seven on this side, it would be good if I could I have six here. So that's three times two. Three O twos is six. And now, that if you add it all together, they all balance. So that's done. On to the third one, aluminium oxide. This would be an, an electrolysis reaction being broken down into aluminium and oxygen. Pause now if you want to give it a go. And I'll go through this. So we've got two aluminiums and three oxygens in aluminium oxide. Just one aluminium there and two oxygens here. So obvious first thing to do is to double up the number of aluminiums. But now I've got to get this up to three. And I, I can't put one and a half, really. Sometimes you do see uh, equations balanced with half numbers, but, but generally you shouldn't. So what am I going to do? Well, what I could do is go back and I could double up this whole compound here. So that's twice as many aluminiums and twice as many oxygens. And now I can add a 3 in and I'll get 6 oxygens on each side, so that's good. But now my aluminiums aren't balanced. That's no problem. I can just go back and rub out that 2 and instead have 4 aluminiums. And now I've got a balanced equation.